it going? How are we doing? How are things? We're back. Second stream for today. Back with Vampire. Um. Claire, hi. How's it going? How are you doing? I was gonna message you earlier, and then I forgot. Because <laughs> I've been, been doing a lot of stuff today. But that's cool. Welcome. Um. Vampire tonight. I don't remember much of what happened last time aside from the Sean incident, um, which has been haunting me all week. And it's not great, but that's okay. Um, I am excited to get back into it. So to, to see what's going on. But yeah, how's everyone doing? How are things going? The incident. It's not just the incident anymore, though. It is the Sean incident. Because there have been a couple of other incidents in this game. <laughs> We've just been doing it all bad. It's all been bad. Um, but it's okay. I'm not going to say we're going to make it better. Because we will probably indeed make it worse. But I think we're just going to lean into it now. So. Um. Yeah. Ooh. Sorry. The water flavor. You finally, you finally, you joined the Metal Pants Club, Fruity. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> also, right, life, life happens so much, all of the time. Um, <laughs> hope we all remember to shoot you a message after stream, though. Or during our break. We'll figure it out. It's fine. Um, Metal Pants Club! <laughs> Glad you're doing well. We're happy to see you here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I made the announcement earlier uh, during my afternoon stream, but I will do it once again. Uh, and I'll probably hopefully remember to make it an announcement about it again later. Uh, we will be doing our reading stream this Saturday. Um, and then on Sunday, we'll start our new weekend game. We're going to do Dark Souls. Uh, the remastered version of Dark Souls, but we've got in, an item and enemy randomizer. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm genuinely very excited about it. Um, and also dreading it, because it's gonna be a lot. Uh, but it's gonna be great. And I'm stoked. And I'm excited about it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. How many more times can I say it's gonna be great? Um... <laughs> But yeah, I guess without uh, without any further ado, let's just hop on over here. I guess I should probably like turn the game sound on as well. Um, but yeah, reading stream this this Saturday gonna do, and then there were none by Agatha Christie. Depending on how it goes, we might do more of those more often. Um, if we do, they might replace our Friday afternoon streams. We'll see. It depends. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna commit to that. <laughs> Just depends on how Saturday goes. But I am excited about it. It's gonna be gonna be fun. Um, ooh, everything here is stable. Good. Pembroke is fine. Everything is fine in Pembroke. Love that for us. What were we doing? Right, so aside from the Sean incident, which I will not elaborate on anymore, uh, we re-killed our sister. <laughs> Fuck, that's a hell of a situation. Um, but yeah, we killed Mary again. Everything is fine in this specific building. Um, in this in this district here, everything is okay. I do, I should check to see if everyone's fine. I can't, can't, can't fix him yet. Can't fix that headache yet. Well, mm, mm. have we, we haven't. I'm not going to look at the Sean area. Don't worry. I have learned my lesson. <laughs> we know better now. Um. But we're gonna make some of those. We're gonna 
we're gonna... Yeah, I don't have the treatment for neuralgia, migraines, or headaches. That's unfortunate. Ooh, rich blood sample. Ooh. Let's go. More blood points. Luna, hi. Welcome. How's it going, friend? The flower's dying. It needs water. Okay, then put some water in it, Jonathan. <laughs> you silly man. You got a plant that's dying. Put some water on it. Um, but yeah, how's it going? How's it? How are you doing? I should increase these. I should make these better. That's so many points. Um, we love that for you. No, oh, good. I'm glad that you're gonna you're gonna go hang out with some friends. It's always always a delight. Sorry, I'm trying to think of like what we need to. That's important. <laughs> it's a good game. We're enjoying it so far. We have we have pointed out some of the issues that it has. Um and it is a little sad that it's it's as rough around the edges as it is, but it's a fun game. I'm enjoying it. We have... I gotta figure out the best way to upgrade. Give me a second. I like this blood cauldron move. But if I level it up, I am gonna have to use all of my, my points. I did! I did. I will not deny that I did it so bad last time. I didn't know that the game was gonna be as mad at me as it was about what I had done. Um, but it was. And now we know. And... Ooh. I want that one. I can't afford it, but we're moving towards being able to afford it. Do I want the better bite? Or do I want blood capacity? I think I want a bite that does more damage. Let's go ahead and confirm that. Let's just go ahead and finish leveling up so we can go do a thing. Also, we're sleeping already. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I would I would genuinely recommend this game. The only downside, the only real complaint that I have about it is the combat's a little weird. I still have yet to try the combat with a controller and I'm not going to. I imagine it would be a little better, um, a little easier to manage with a controller, but, um, that doesn't change the fact that, like, our attack animations are so long, and the enemies are not. But I'm sure there's a way to get better about it, eventually. I just have yet to get there. Um... But the social aspect of the game, the way that your choices affect everything, is really awesome. Um, but oh boy, if you do it bad, you will, you will do it bad. <laughs> There's no, no light slap on the on the wrist about you making a bad choice. They're just like, hey, you fucked up. Um. And I think you need to suffer for the mistakes you have made. <laughs> also, yes, thank you, Travis. Uh, we do have the game link if you want to add it to your Steam wishlist or pick it up now. 
Uh, it is available on consoles as well. I want to say both PlayStation and Xbox? Yeah, we gotta remember to doctor. We did just check um, Pembroke, the, the hospital's district. We've got a few people with headaches, but I don't have a cure for that yet. Um, Whitechapel, on the other hand... Um, this is not Whitechapel. This is Whitechapel. I can help Darius. I don't have the cure for that just yet. Oh, okay. I thought I had learned my mistake. I had not. I had not learned. Why are the bushes doing that? Why did the bushes look like that? Um... But yeah, really cool game, really interesting, would recommend. Just know that the... Over there! There's one of them bodies. I was just looking at the bodies, that's all! My goodness, no one is happy with me being no, here. I promise! Ah. <laughs> Look, I just want to go say hello to my friends, okay? I don't want to, I don't want to bother any of y'all. Um... <laughs> Kind of. I can see it. I mean, this is... Oh, that's a big boy. Um, I mean, it's London, the 1920s. So you do got that, that good gothic architecture. Um. Monsters, not quite as grotesque as Bloodborne, Bloodborne Buddies, but still not great. We need to find... Darius. Where is Darius's house? When science fails you, get out of my way. Here will give you faith again. Not here. Where? Where? Where is? Hi, Lamia. No yells. No yelling. You've already had some treats. You don't get anything more. I'm sorry. Darius is here? I mean, there's... there's Hello, Mr. Petrescu. There's this Hello, dialogue. Dr. Reed. Come on in. Cool. Can I fix you? I would like you to... Not be dying anymore, buddy. Yes? You got pneumonia. Let me... Do you need some help, Mr. Fix it. I am very tired, but that is all. I don't need you, doctor. No, you do. You do need me. I don't have the treatment for pneumonia! What the hell? Okay, don't give him the well, medicine. I thought I made some. Well, if you feel all right, that's fine. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Well, never mind. Boyfriend's back at the hospital. He's he's fine. He's been spared from the bad incident. We'll go say hi to him in a bit. We gotta go to dumb lady's house first. <laughs> but hi, Jody. How's it going? How are you doing, friend? We need... We need to go to Lady Ashbury's mansion because it's locked all right because we're going to meet with uh, the Ascalon club that's right because the Ascalon club is like mm, we got to do some things there are bad things happening to which all of us are like yeah they, they have been um I don't know that this is going to go great, considering I killed one of their dudes. Fergal. Killed Fergal. Glad you're doing well. 
Um, not the wet boots. I cannot enter. I need to go to the west end, right? I don't need to be here in Whitechapel. I need to go elsewhere. Why is it serious here, though? I need to take a left. We need to go down this way. I need to run away from the big boy. And all the not big boys. Oh no. Okay. Alright, alright. Yikes. <laughs> Fun facts with Claire! It's I mean, it was pretty much like anywhere, like... I don't wanna, I don't wanna throw shade. But it was a lot of the areas where, you know, it was poorer and there were prostitutes everywhere. Jack the Ripper was a gross dude. Preyed on the weaker portions of society. How'd you get over there, bud? Hey! <laughs> We're here for it. We're absolutely here for it. <laughs> we love. He just healed up. That's a problem. I need to leave. I need to leave. Um. Bell end. Your favorite prediction song. <laughs> it is a very good one. You would know all the good ones, though, wouldn't you, Fruity? <laughs> Gotta give us all the good British slang. Um, please and thank you. <laughs> Over there! I need to look. I don't like that I can't open doors when combat is happening. That's a little frustrating. Um, ooh, let's just go. Let's just go. But yeah, no. 100% here for, for history lessons while we're playing video games. We love fun facts. Um, <laughs> we're very much here for it. How do I get where I'm trying to go? Where is my map? Do I need to get there from... No, I need to be... I can cross the bridge here. <gasps> Jody. Thank you for the gift sub to Luna. Just <laughs> freaking bullets. Yeah, when are we gonna when are we gonna hear these these British insults coming from you, Fruity? Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, thank you, Jody. That's very sweet of you. We oh it's Okay, this is where I need to be. No, nah, no, nah, y'all should focus on that big boy there. He's just a level 18. He ain't shit. Don't stink cloud me. I'm gonna die. We're gonna hop on over here. There's a whole war going on over here. It's such goodness gracious. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, that is a hundred percent a posse. Um I think we'll just run through. Here I was getting cocky, being like, I can take them. I can't. I can't. There's too many of them. Uh and that big boy went down much faster than I thought he would. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> I don't know that they're here right now, but Mayor Emmy did all of all of my channel art. She does a good job. She does a very good job. <laughs> um 
Oh, okay. All right. Let's try this again and not die this time. We'll just avoid. We'll just avoid that whole situation. It was kind of a. It's on to us. Look, it's not our problem. We didn't see. We didn't see nothing. <laughs> just back there yelling. <gasps> Danny Vamp. Hi, bud. You must Father. prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. Okay. Stay away, whoever you are. This is no time. Jonathan, for we're the one who approached him very calmly. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. Not, not dear God. Oh, I don't like any of these. I, for one, am ready to embrace our vampire overlords. I'm not your champion. I insist you be quiet. Go away. <laughs> I'm not your I am champion. not your champion. <laughs> but of course you are, son. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. Bro, I had to kill Mary. I yeah, have well, known your pain, child. She was kind of Do not succumb not to great. Just a reminder. Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence. Okay. Well, I'm tired of all these puppet shows. <laughs> I think that's a little more than a puppet show, bud. Hey, Jonathan. <laughs> that's a that's an extreme understatement for everything that's happening around you right now, buddy. Um, is this where I need to go? Or is this where I need to go? I can't go this way. Who are you? Hey! Hey! Who are you? They want war. I'll show them war. Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. Um. I wish we could. I'm ready to just fully like accept and embrace the whole vampire thing, honestly. Jonathan here is just like, mm, no, no, I don't think so. And it's like, bud, come on. <laughs> um. Ow, you weren't even facing me. towards everything has changed significantly since since I fucked up the Sean situation. I don't care anymore. Um. So this is where she lives. What a splendid house. It's pretty fancy. That's pretty fancy. Alright, what do we got going on? my lips to stop being so dang chapped please and thank you <laughs> I 
it's so dry up here now, which is great. I would much rather it be dry than humid. Um. But you're so bright. Dr. Reed, welcome. Oh, hold on a second. I just realized I still have that bad filter on from, <laughs> from made us as good as scared. one can be considering the circumstances doesn't help yes. that much but you know death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late please come in we have much to discuss yeah like why is there a full on war going out on I the streets I hope I haven't disturbed you not at all actually I was counting on you visiting me tonight Joy, thank you for the bubble how strange this painting beautiful melancholic yet with a haunting dignity you're just you're Indeed. just throwing words at it a long time ago a friend asked me to paint this for him but i kept it in the end cuz you i did your not know dead. you were a painter my lady there are many things you do not know about me young ekon and that's fine i don't need to know anything about you Honestly. Why do you continue to mock me? Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. <laughs> what We're is bothering friends. you, my lady? <laughs> Your letter was quite alarming. Just, we will talk about this in a few minutes. I can't with Ashbury. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? Um. My sister Mary. She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Yeah. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. <gasps> Emmy, hi. By surprise. How's it going? How are you doing? <laughs> I killed Mary twice! In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. <laughs> But still, I felt I had taken her oh, life goodness. twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had you I should known be. your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. You there probably no shouldn't have done that to anyway. Apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. They Thank haven't, you, though, friend. Jonathan. You don't. If you don't... only we could have guided your poor sister through her <sighs> terrible nightmare. Can you tell I don't care for this woman? I swear I did not intend that. If only I had known then how vampires are created. That is the scientist speaking. In truth, most of us do not know how it really works. Mm -hmm. Personally, I make sure my prey will not return to haunt me. What do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. I only feed on the dying. And I make sure they are dead before leaving their remains. Ah, uh, yes, merciless. Okay. Um. I came to the conclusion that my maker, <laughs> whoever he might be, I'm just going to constantly yell at this woman. Certainly, extremely uh, old. How and mock her. Have you reached this conclusion? At every comment that she makes. I felt this power. It's radiating fine. like an aura every time he appeared. Most ancestral vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I That's know what is I thought you, my too? Friend, are a pawn in some secret I wonder if... game of chess. No, I can't think of anything to like he is the only rationalize it. I also thought that we had established that form. to be His turned into a vampire you had to drink ancient. the blood of a vampire. It was disturbing. I am afraid. Also, all right. the friends in chat tonight. <laughs> the simple fact that your blood everyone say hello to everyone. Hello, effort. everyone. Proves that you must be an ancient lineage. <laughs> um yeah, so I'm not entirely sure how she, uh, how she turned. I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. 
After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. Okay. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. And Please yet, here we were, sharing formalities this whole time. I would time. be delighted to discuss mundane matters uh, and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark Yeah, we're to come, not sure how we were we turned. I think the, the assumption is that we speak, you and I. drink someone's blood, for but now, we don't remember anything about our siring. Um... See, everybody, everybody's here. It's say, a delight. Your house is exquisite. <laughs> One of the advantages of living forever Hi, is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I will, I I will give tea, that she has a you can very still nice drink house. Tea. It's very fancy. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe. <laughs> and of course, to your health, Jonathan. <laughs> And to yours, my lady. Rip to whoever shows up next in chat. Honestly. Wow, Please what a waste of... Call me Elizabeth. What a waste of tea. So, I will not lady, call you Elizabeth, actually. Why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official an invitation angle. to meet the Ascalon Club. Um... I mean, we've kind of already asked all these questions. No, we shouldn't trust them. Um, we know who they are. A group of elite vampires in the area who think that they're the coolest. Basically, it's a boys' club. Is why, why I use, use you? you to contact me. Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation uh, is gathering information it's true. She's and not then gonna deciding how to use it. That's the only one that I wanted to like Have they elaborate you? on. Not at all. in London. Thank you, Travis. <laughs> that is louder than it was this morning. I have not touched the sound on that at all. Why not? Just ask FYI. For you God that since you are obviously a powerful and influential Genuinely spooked me. Holy shit. You have to understand that I am invisible to the eyes of Ascalon. Damn. For I am a woman. You did it good. That suits me well. As long as they leave me alone. <laughs> really are spooky skeletons. Facts. Okay. Um, they have done nothing but impede my investigation since I on. became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess uh, they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I don't like it. Invitation. I don't like that we're just staring into her eyes. I don't. <laughs> I don't dig the vibes that she's law. giving me. You have no I choice, wanna... Jonathan. This is even this I doesn't would feel not great. openly defy Lord Redgrave. I only want to stare at Edgar like this. Club. Um. We know who Lord Redgrave is. He's the he's the head of the Ascalon Club. How powerful is this, is his reach? Probably very. If you are convinced, I must meet him. I, I just don't want to talk to her anymore. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders right. with London's <laughs> vampire elite. <laughs> they usually say fuck we it as far as Jonathan's choice. concerned. Is Let's just go directly to the player. Yes. The God directly of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind. And they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. Um. Prewin and the Ascalon will fight? Yes, Jonathan, we saw that already. It was a great hunt. What is a great hunt? The first great hunt was launched about 75 years ago. In just a few nights, the guard of Prewen located and destroyed most of the old British vampires. So that whole colonizing the colonizers thing it's they had it coming um why, why start, a second, start one? a second one prewen has always seen us immortals as a threat to mankind my guess is they suspect one or more of us is the cause of the epidemic uh how did you how survive? did you survive the first hunt i fled jonathan like most vampires who survived that slaughter and I secretly came back when I was sure they had lost my trail. Ooh, so cool. Let's leave. You should flee then. Let's flee then. Leave London, the country even. I care I have not seen the for Lady Ashbury. 
they are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. Shouldn't. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Jonathan Scottish was manor. Doing. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you. Good. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. Leaving. I want you to leave, Lady Ashbury. Not I because I'm concerned for your safety, but because I would like for you to just be Could gone and Lord out of my Redgrave hair. Could be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. Um, what is the plan? What is the plan? The plan is we both try to save this city, you <laughs> and I. Though. Go to Ascalon, accept their proposition, and use their influence to promote your agenda. How can I save London? How can I save London? The epidemic That's is just the what priority. his face looks like. I don't you must know find its how to not and put make an it look like it. that. This but I don't the think it's right. Solve the crisis. I don't think it's correct. Also, thank you for the bubble, Travis. <laughs> what will you do? I still have contacts and I've old just friends in this come town. to accept that that's what he looks like. I shall make some inquiries at all times. and attempt to learn more of the situation. We need clarity. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. I must find answers. One day soon, I will She's have not the person to, find to talk to you about. To this and I shall help you in your research, I promise. Sometimes it do be like that. For now. Surprise, Jonathan just hotboxed a little, uh, for a little game. too long. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No. You will find me here if you need me. I shall <laughs> conduct to come inquiries up alone. Just go and, and we can then yeah. share our discoveries. Uh, will you go back to Pembroke? When will we meet again? Does I don't I, I don't give a shit. I don't your care and your where she's gonna be or Could who you do she's me gonna a last be with. Great favor and call me Elizabeth. I Absolutely honored, not. Then it is settled. <laughs> Finally, some good news in these dark <laughs> hours. You call me this? No. Thank you. I will I not. Appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. Yeah. How Let's go. Thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, are but they? their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. <sighs> Jonathan. He needs some milk. Be careful. Milk items. Also, why is my suit so, so shiny? By the fear in your it voice. looks like it's plastic, Look me, and I don't Jonathan. like that. I am. <laughs> I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. I didn't want to touch your dang titty. We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Okay, I didn't say you weren't. No, no, Jonathan, this is unacceptable. Jonathan, no! Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. No, I will not! <laughs> We're not quite married yet. But, um... I don't, I'm still, I'm still trying to work out the full lore for vampires. Like, like where our vampires fall in line. We have determined that vampires have cottage cheese for blood. Not actual cottage cheese, but their blood is so coagulated and gross that it's basically like cottage cheese. <laughs> um, we also... I thought we could only get turned into a vampire. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize the cottage cheese discussion was new to a lot of you, but I do realize that most of you were not here for that very, very first, uh, that very, very first time that we played this game when we did some really good vampire science. Um, fun fact. Vampires 
would have blood in their body, right? So. But because it's not moving, to visit the because Ascalon. they're not warm, and because they're not living, it would coagulate, right? So it would be, it'd be clumpy. But I imagine that then still, like, the plasma might separate a little bit from it. So then you'd get this, like, really gross watery substance with the, the coagulated blood around it. And it's basically like cottage cheese. No, I do. I do need to explain it again. <laughs> Um, I cannot enter. So vampires have cottage cheese for blood. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> listen, Linda. Listen. 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 Cottage cheese for blood, okay? Listen. Um... <laughs> So yeah, they uh, they got cottage cheese for blood. I thought, I thought it was explained to us that uh, you can only sire a vampire by making them drink the blood of a vampire. Absolutely, she's 100% pumping cottage cheese through. Uh, through her, through her veins. Also, they are extremely loud, and I'm so sorry about that. I don't know... I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> I don't know how to make it better. Unfortunately. <laughs> um, but it's fine. <laughs> wow, they killed that boy. I would like to not be that anywhere was the around here. I saw earlier. This war. <laughs> I don't know that it would spray out though. If it's cottage cheese, it would probably just like leak and then occasionally like flick out a giant blood clot, basically. Right? It wouldn't it wouldn't spray good. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I hate this. The West End. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. <laughs> Claire! Exactly! It'd be like a pie exploding. It'd be like there'd be parts of it, like, but not just like not like a, a fresh pie either. It'd be like, it'd be like a pie that's been sitting out for a few days. So again, like the bottom gets all soggy and there's just like this, this puddle of, of pie juice. <laughs> you vampires are so weak. Uh. <sighs> <laughs> Emmy desperately trying to get us away from this conversation. <laughs> um, Kill it. Yeah, so uh, we killed our sister once. Stop. We killed our sister once and it wasn't great. And then she came back. She's the one who was murdering all those people behind us. So we'd like run to a different place and then all of a sudden there'd be like a dead body there and we'd be like, oh, what? What vampire did this? Turned out it was our sister. Um, so we did a murder on her again. Cool, the fantastic, Ascot. wonderful. I love it. The heart of the um, not quite as we subtle as I expected. fucked it up with Sean. Sean, like we all knew, Sean was sketchy. We knew that Sean was a was a was a problem, right? But you just kind of came out of nowhere, buddy. Hold on a second. Um, so we we royally fucked it up with Sean. Whole district's bad. Whole district just gone. Um, no, no recovering from that. Holding and saying, Can you stop following me? Um, Sean said he was gonna help people. I was concerned about what would happen if we killed Sean, but like, figured that it wasn't gonna be a great idea to let him live, but also didn't necessarily think that it was gonna be as bad as it was to not do 
do a murder. It was it was as bad as it was to not do a murder. Moral of the story, always kill a guy. Just do the death. Do the killing thing. This is a bad situation. These people are much stronger than I am. I can't get out of the corner. I couldn't get out of the corner. I was trapped there. And that was extremely unfortunate. Um... <laughs> um... What else happened? Yeah, he also start, started misinterpreting scripture, which, like, what, what place of organized religion doesn't misinterpret the scripture? <laughs> it's already bad enough as it is. It just gets even more out of hand when you decide to kind of, you know, do your own thing with it. Um... We are attempting to meet with the Ascalon Club. Emmy, thank you for the, co uh, not the contribution, what am I saying? Thank you for the, uh, the gift sub. A very kind of you. Um, we're gonna meet with the Ascalon Club, which is essentially a group of elite vampires in London, I think specifically, but might be all over the place. Um... Might be all over Europe. I am un unclear about that. But they want to meet with us for some stupid reason that I stopped listening to because I w didn't want to listen to Elizabeth speak all the time. Good evening, miss. Oh my god, no. Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. She's I'm also a vampire, isn't die. she? I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would... What? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. I'm Charlotte a vampire. Ashbury. You're a vampire. My mother told we're me long all ago vampire, how to vampire. recognize the signs that betray um, a vampire. I understand she also... They think I'm strong and they want to use me. Cool. Thank you for, for the clarity. I definitely just kind of stopped listening anytime Ashbury speaks to us. It's a pleasure to meet to you, Miss Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. You seem pretty alright. Um... So yeah, we're gonna go to the Ascalon Club and meet them and probably do a murder on all of them because I already hate boys clubs. Um, me, personally. Me, Acacia, Cache. I hate boys clubs. Um, so we'll probably do a whole ass murder on, on this group of vampires and that'll show everyone how strong we are. That definitely won't have any repercussions later on. Um... And that's kind of what's been happening. What do you think, think about this part of town? I was raised here, and I suppose it feels like home. You grew up this in this part of town, This is how we all solve all of our problems. Not? Lady Ashbury is strong, but she's a woman, so... I mean, I'm sure she is. She's like a... I mean, she's fairly old for a vampire, right? So she, she knows her way around existence, but like... I yes, hate her. I was born a few but also, if a she wants to be in this club, she should be in this club, and these boys Did shouldn't stop her from being in this club just because your neighbor she's all that time. a lady. And so, like, you could have met her in a dark alley at night. You know, you let's go do a murder. Twice, young lady. We both know, lady. Oh, absolutely. I don't think the repercussions were Come on, were uh, were worth it for Sean and that whole situation. But like, to kill a to kill a murder or to kill a a boys club, like absolutely, let's go. Um. <laughs> Surprise Arcade! <laughs> so yeah, no, fun fact about, just to, I guess to clarify for everyone, fun fact between my username and my real name. My real name is Acacia, spelled A-C-A-C-I-A. -A. Cool, whatever. Look me up if you want. I don't give a shit. Um, but in high school, <laughs> Mayor Emmy kept calling me Keisher. All the time, just as a, just as a pet name, and it was fun and cute, and it ended up, uh, yeah, no, exactly for me. <laughs> we talked about this earlier. You see, you see. Um, but yeah, we would just call me like Keisha, Keish, and all that stuff because it's basically my name already. It's just easier to spell, and it makes sense. Is there something so, yeah. that's bothering you? <laughs> Too much selfishness and individualism for my taste. <laughs> Even when there was no epidemic. Surprise! Even if that's partly true, 
May I remind you that many so simple yet institutions so are financed by the But hey Arcade, how's it going? How are you doing? <laughs> but society must reform and renew itself or we are all done for. <laughs> I also like so I almost exclusively use Patreon on my phone and you can't you can't really edit any of your details like on in mobile, like at all. Um and so I finally got on, on the desktop to do the thing from earlier, um, which I you may or may not have seen. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I was like, finally, like, I went in. And I was like, you know what? We're going to fucking change. Tell me about We're going to fix adoption. this. And so I what did. What do you want to know? I've been there the entire time. You just didn't even Who know. <laughs> Elizabeth Surprise. Ashbury is my real mother. She <laughs> raised me and has taken care of me all my life. I have no idea who my progenitors are or were. Do you live with her? I still I spend a lot of time Travis. in my mother's mansion. But I have Let's my own stretch house in there now. First. Everyone I else have a also to live, stretch? You see? And one day, I'll have my death to face. <laughs> Don't even worry about it, Arcade. <laughs> Honestly. If I've, got, if I've got the means and the ability to support my friends, in the stuff that they're doing, I'm gonna fucking do it. This, this is how we do. It's fine. Also, Charlotte, I'm sorry that that Lady Ashbury is your mother. I'm so sorry. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? First, I was an orphan in the institution for girls she manages in the West Hi, End. Hi, Drake. We gotta keep when stretching I was 10, a little bit too. She adopted me, and I have lived with her ever since. Did you know she was a vampire? <laughs> the correct word is Econ Doctor. Of course, and no, I had no idea why my mother I only wouldn't want it to be night. any other way, honestly. I'm not drinking. She told blood. me everything when I turned I... 16. So... Though I suspected the truth for a long time before that. Yeah, okay, Charlotte. It's, um. It's the stuff that I, like, usually drink. It's, like, the strawberry watermelon stuff. It's yummy, but I usually get. The one that's like clear. Um, and I don't know why it's not clear this time. <laughs> I definitely was spooked when I like put it in in my water. Because I was expecting it to be clear, and then all of a sudden my water was red, and I was just like, what is happening here? It's fine. Strawberry watermelon flavored though, and it's really nice, and I like it. I just wish it weren't red. What are you doing out here? You mean, what do I do outside oh, yeah. at night since I am a woman? It's fine. Let me ask you a question, sir. Would you ask the same question of a man? Actually, yes. I ask the same question to <laughs> everyone who dares to go outside at night. Strawberry. Well, yes. if you must know, Yummy. I campaign for the right to vote. <laughs> Why should I wait to the age of 30 years when men I'm can I'm turning water into blood so I can perform transfusions. It's fine. Are you a suffragette, then? <laughs> oh, you really are Elizabeth's girl. Without a doubt. All adult women have the right to vote in the US, in New Zealand, and in it's Australia. But women though. here can't vote unless they are property owners. No need to convince me. Me asking Ms. everybody Charlotte. why I have shared your opinion. There are so many vampires. Time. Even before I met Emmeline Pankhurst. Really? Oh. <laughs> now I see why my mother appreciates you so much. Too bad there aren't more men like we you. We did ask what Throgmorton was doing outside. And then I panicked because... It, oh, no. <sighs> Sorry. I just... Yeah. It just hit that... Hit again. That Ichabod is dead. And I'm... How I am actually very upset mind. about that. People here can't wait for a wall to be built to isolate the West End from the rest of town. That's how progressive they are. I love you. If I love happens, you, Ichabod Throckmorton. I'm sorry. I Explosives are very dangerous. did you dirty, bud. And who is this Emily? She is my best friend and a suffragette, too. She was supposed to campaign with me tonight, but hasn't turned up. Have you any reason to be worried about her? Recently, Emily started to believe in... <laughs> Yeah, well, but are you a suffragette? She got interested <laughs> in vampires. I'm afraid she might be in trouble. Let me guess. <laughs> you spoke to her about us, didn't you? Despite your mother's warning, I think I should try to find your friend. Oh, that would be top notch. I can tell you where top she might have gone. Top notch. You have yeah, my okay, thanks, Charlotte. Dr. Whatever Reed. you say, ma'am. And please don't tell my mother. 
Oh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna tell her. I fucking hate her. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk to her. What exactly? Right, what do you know has about me? Your mother told you about me. Your name and profession, obviously, and the mystery about your maker. Okay. While I'm she's talking, I'm going to, to move what to your sister, my sir. Fan. Mother says it was not your fault. Does it not scare you to know what I am? Because it's a bit warm in what here. Mother is. Why should it? My mother is the <laughs> so most compassionate like woman. <laughs> Must I be wary of her, Dr. Reed? Or you? <laughs> oh, what? What? Of course not. You have nothing to fear from me. Or your mother. Good to know. Okay. And don't worry, my mother told me everything I need to know about vampire tricks, their She's nature got that good as blood. well as. I'm not eating. Her. Your mother is not like any other vampire I've met. We haven't met that many vampires, Jonathan. Stop getting the hots for her. I refuse to accept it. Edgar is our boyfriend. Do you know why Lady Asprey chose you to become her anyway, daughter? No, I don't. Each time I ask her that question, she smiles and says it's precisely because I dare to ask such questions. Do you ever regret I'll that trust she chose her. you? Of I'll course trust her. Not. Though I often wonder if she adopted others before me. If so, where are they buried? <laughs> right? How was it for them to pass through life with a never-aging mother? Fruity's, uh, Fruity's little diagram there. Accurate. <laughs> Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been this, quite this busy amount of eye, these eye contact. I suspect you may see she her. She gets it from her me. mom. Okay, I need to leave. I need to figure out where this person in trouble is. This person right here. I could go this way I'm just very concerned because I don't I'm not really this is no place for a gentleman we haven't murdered almost everyone we've met I mean I guess it might seem that way considering the the Sean incident but that was unintentional that was an accident, and that was Fucking technically Sean's fault. Ouch. Die, leech. Oh, I need more. I need, I need more blood. Okay, but these guys are hunters, and they're trying to kill me. They did start it. Okay. Self-defense, obviously. Did you hear his little voices? He's so choppy. Yum, 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 yum. Stop stabbing me. My guy. Again, I wish the combat were a little more streamlined and not nearly as aggravating as it is. But here we are. Goodness gracious. Let's go save this man. Sir? Hello? Suddenly 2011 bringing back the um nom noms XD RAR! <laughs> Are you from Ascalon? I don't know. No, care. I'm not from Ascalon. Oh, it's you. <laughs> You're the reason I died last time, sir! <laughs> My 
god. Jesus shit. Um, and I'm just saying there's a lot of vampires hunters around. And I gotta protect myself somehow. Also, this vampire is just being a dick. He's just being rude for no reason. Oh my god. Fuck off, my guy. health he has too much health i also wish so my other my other complaint about this game i wish that the leveling system made a little bit more like made more sense because there have been times where i fought something that is significantly higher level than i am and i've still been able to kick his ass and there are other times where something's been like a level or two higher than me and it's just absolutely demolished me in this case obviously he's seven levels higher than me that's pretty that's pretty high up there but i think this area is serious i don't think it's hostile um <laughs> two very different moods this and animal crossing i'm just trying to get i'm just trying to get to that guy before he dies my what is the West End? West End is stable. It's not even serious or hostile. But here's okay. So the other thing that I that I am annoyed by with this is the fact that anytime I level up, I have to go to sleep, which then kind of fucks me over if I'm in an area. Like this, that's significantly here. like a higher fire. level than I am. Because then I can't do anything and I just get fucked over and can't save people because I'm underleveled. Um. <laughs> Go get your ice cream. This fucking guy, though! He won't leave me alone! I don't want to be here anymore! Can I, like, lure him over here? Nice! Good birthday cake. Also, hi, Bono. How are you doing? I love you. <laughs> here, fight, fight each other! I'm just gonna let them kill each other. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm a referee now? Kill him, bud! Hey, you did it bad? Don't see me. Go back. <laughs> I didn't get any experience from that, which, I mean, makes sense, but is unfortunate. God, they're so slow. What if I... Just go fast. He's gonna be here, isn't he? Are you from Ascalon? I don't care! You should! You should care! Okay, will the Skell fight? Oh. 
Will the scouts fight the regular vampire? No, they are uninterested in each other. Fucking hell. Um. Yeah, no, they should absolutely 100% be, like, killing each other. You're mine! I'm not! <laughs> I have a boyfriend. Where is this man? How do I get up where this man is? You know what? <laughs> I have a I have a doctor boyfriend that I am gonna be betrothed to, okay? I need everyone to stop being so thirsty for this hot piece of ass known as Jonathan Reed. <laughs> Can't. <sighs> Can I... Are there... Hello? Door's been unlocked! Where does this lead? Oh, I kind of know where this is. We need to not be there because that is hostile. That's the docks. Um... How? How do I help you, sir? I mean, that's what I'm assuming is that I have to kill the fancy lad, but I can't. You Fucking hell. I was so close. Oh, hey! It's on to us. Stop! Come here. Attention to me! Crush the leech, boys!
That didn't even stun him. I don't like it. This man's gonna die. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna fuck around with him anymore. <laughs> I don't appreciate the fact that the game is constantly, like, soft-locking me out of shit. That is kind of annoying. At this point. <sighs> Sean was what? Level 24? Might be able to take him now. I think I'm gonna wait until I'm a little higher level, though. It's just really... It's annoying. The leveling system in general is just really frustrating in this. Um... That's because he kept having those, like... Those unite. terrible shadow monsters. I would argue that not a lot of narrative games have as bad of a leveling system as this one. Honestly. <laughs> this, this one is so garbage. Um... Just because your personal level is tied to, like, how many skills you have. And not necessarily by your stats. But all the enemies that you fight have better stats as well as better moves if they're a higher level. And that just ends up being this really unbalanced mess of having constantly, like, heavier hitting, higher health having enemies while you're still just sort of stuck messing around with their bad, bad attack mechanics. Where am I going? Here. We're going here. Wherever here is. We're going towards the Y. And it's just really annoying because it's like, again, the like the social aspects of the game are really great. And then... The combat just, like, really brings it down. It's locked, all right. Um... It's locked. Yes and no? Um... I mean, I would definitely get more experience if I were eating people. But I also get experience from defeating enemies and, like, finishing quests. Good evening, miss. Can I help you? I'm a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am... I am... No, definitely. I, below. I, I would definitely say that it's, like, trying to, like, get me to eat some people, but then... Like, it's also just, like, absolutely Miss, scared the shit out of me well from before. eating people because of the Sean situation. <laughs> it's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy, I don't know. It's... Rats. I, I feel like there are them. better ways help to please. balance... Help me to disobey the voice. To balance the various mechanics that they're thrown at us. Um, individually. The... The different systems that they have are really, really interesting, but it's just so- it's too much when you try and combine all five of them. Um, I mean, yeah, but I wasn't planning on eating a bunch of those people anyway. It's just- it's- I know that they're trying to, like- there has there there is a balance to to strike between eating people and moving on. I guess I wish that they would let me know in a, a bit more of a straightforward way that the next area is going to be significantly higher level than what I currently am. But I feel like even if I eat enough people, I'm not necessarily going to be a high enough level. Like I would have to eat a lot of people to get to being a high enough level, and I don't care to talk to her right now. Um. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just 
punished me significantly. No matter no matter how I how I look at it, and it's a little unfortunate. <laughs> um Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. It's not it's not a system I like. The difference is I liked I liked the story that Control was trying to tell, but it was so combat heavy that I was just like, I'm not gonna fucking deal with any of this. Whereas this has so much like so much narrative socially that I feel like I can just ignore the combat for a little bit and just deal with the frustration of it right every in once in a while. But now it's present. like it feels like it's the definitely moving more towards a combat heavy what is game. your business tonight? As I received we start approaching an invitation. Like, late game stuff, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Adding to the frustration and the annoyance. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. Y'all place is a mess. There has been quite a battle here. This place is a fucking mess. I'm sure mess. the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. Um. I cannot enter. Okay. No, for real. Y'all live like this? Damn. History and pur purpose of the Ascalon Club. The Ascalon Club is an association of gentlemen secretly aiming for the protection of the Crown's interests. Uh, I founded it in 1837 to honor and perpetuate the legacy of my maker, William Marshall, first Earl of Pembroke and true protector of England. All the members of the club must be of good extraction and flawless moral fiber. Since the club accepts moral me or mortal members, who will be duly observed and valued as proper candidates for immortality, the goal of the club is to impose respectable traditions and behaviors amongst the good vampire society but also to promote and expand the imperial hegemony of England. We are the true elite of British society. We are Ascalon, the holy lance held by St. George, protector of England. When the saint slew the dragon as lance bearers ourselves, we vowed to defend the empire's interests. We're killing all these boys. We're killing all of them, which is gonna work out great because I need more levels and I also hate all of them. Two birds, one stone, and all that, right? <laughs> yeah, these boys are getting it. I was already kind of set on that because honestly, fuck boys clubs. Um, that really just sealed the deal. <laughs> we are but the true elites of England. <laughs> yeah, all right, buddy. <laughs> Let's fucking go. All right, which one of you is getting chomped first? Good evening. It's got to be the old dude with the comb over. It's it's the old man with the comb over. He's getting it first. My good friends, if and I then may I'm have your attention. And I'm kicking that urn over as well. Behold our visitor, the good doctor. Might even do a line of their ashes Newborn just to, like, so freak him out a little bit. That even my friend Fergal Bansha was no match for him. Here, here, here. <laughs> Hello, I am a hungry, hungry vampire. Come forward, young Ekon. For we have so much to discuss. Yeah, like, where's my first fucking meal? Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave. <laughs> Earl of Bristol and chairman of this exclusive association. <laughs> Lord Redgrave. They hear their death coming. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. I've heard some astounding things about you. <laughs> Please accept my condolences for your here, loss, Redgrave. Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. 
The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? She has proved to be helpful on many occasions. Hmm. The centuries um, have taught me never to trust I a woman hate him. Him, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Oh Too my God! Look, I hate Ashbury, but I know Lord, the reason you're saying this is because you're a sexist piece of Ashbury. shit. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do no. You mean? <laughs> I speak of the Skull Plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End. But the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why it's have you be great. asked me here? Because Sorry, the crisis just, like, is escalating. Of, like, how to talk Our to enemies, the guard of Prewin, have even launched an open hunt. <sighs> the only way to calm things down is to put an end <laughs> to the epidemic. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak We're here in to the eat West some End. Shitty human beings. Let's it? fucking ah, go. I say human beings. To the they're point, not people. Like all they're vampires. The but bonds. regardless, we shall have time to talk about all this, Doctor Reed. But first, um. I should like to get to know you better. Talk. <laughs> Is that the only reason it's true. you asked me here? <laughs> well, no. I also Ashbury is the fucking the worst, Echo but again, such a powerful project bigots, racists, and sexists. You have not learned the name. They're of your they're at the bottom of the rest. bottom of the tier, completely and entirely. Don't fucking speak about How my family. How dare you speak so flippantly of my family? Have no embarrassment, Doctor Reed. We all make mistakes, but whatever your lineage. You are definitely <gasps> Ascalon. That sounds material. delightful. What do you mean? <laughs> I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club and to serve. Have you been resting well today, Bono? Uh. <laughs> no! Wait! Why is it? Before I accept, I, have I so better many be able to like say no. Ask. Or, 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 hear me out. We join them and then kill them from from inside their ranks. I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one Get him of from yours, inside. Sent to cleanse the East End of all skulls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. Was membership implied? What does it mean? to be a member of the Ascalon Club. It means that you swear to protect the interests of the crown, I that you no become interest. a loyal servant of the British Empire. I have no interest. <sighs> Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Absolutely. Club publicly supports the empire. <laughs> but the true nature of its members remains a secret. Wink -wonk. I do have mad respect for voice actors who can really just make a character slappable, and this dude's doing a great job. <laughs> As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members. He's all—he's like—he's as he good as that shitty poet that we ate earlier. Oh, we still gotta go eat that priest. It's priest. What is have the Ascalon priest. Club's express purpose? We follow the credo of William Marshall. The greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British mm. Empire. I don't, I don't give a shit. I don't, I don't want to join! Before I accept, please, I'll... What we've... I'm gonna skip through some of this because I don't want to fucking listen to any of it and I would like to not join. Where is my option to not join? Game! I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? <laughs> Fear not. Nothing don't, fancy nor dangerous. Don't wanna! It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, don't wanna. believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. 
Hey, Redgrave, come back so I can talk to you and see My what your best members, level is. dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? Oh, I hate this! Well, speak, Dr. Reed. In front of the most sacred blood. Again, I want to smash this, like, burn open to a William line of the Marshall. ashes and speak then just now. eat everyone. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? No! Yes. I will. Fear the old <laughs> no. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to I sign the Waluigi, Book of Allegiance. Guys. I miss Bloodborne Waluigi. <laughs> I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. I want to fucking murder this man. Hundred percent. This man. Mm, delightful. <laughs> he definitely voted for Brexit. What a fucking tool. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Doctor Reed. I didn't want to join. I hate your club. I'm gonna kill all of, of you. One of us. One of us. I fucking hate this. Hey. Uh, but if I talk to him. Hold on. You. Good evening, Dr. Reed. How does it feel to be this evening's centerpiece? Your name is Aloysius, and I hate that because Aloysius is such a good name. I feel like the newcomer, and I do not like it at all. Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart, you draw quite a bit of attention yourself. Ah, vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. Okay, they sir, those what's me. your mesmerism level? I am Aloysius Dawson, by the way. You're famous. Mr. Dawson, of Dawson and Dawson. We're gonna the eat wealthiest man eventually, in hopefully. I want, I want to. I want to eat all these motherfuckers. A, London. a withering London figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am a doctor, you know. My case is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent medicine. fortunes <laughs> on the world's most competent doctors sir. to arrive at that sir. diagnostic conclusion. Sir. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm here to implement my plan to save response. the city I was born in. To cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. I, I don't care to hear any of their elaborations problem. on any of these this issues, This mysterious honestly. epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're right. Money is nothing unless one has the will to wield it. I have a plan, sir. Uh -huh, okay. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. What is your plan, then? Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we need is a wall. I need to eat him right unscalable now. Wall. Immediately. I, I need this man to stop masses. speaking. By doing so, you would create two separate ghettos. What if the disease gets past the wall? The results That's would be not disastrous. It. Not if we eliminate That's not what I meant by all it's a disaster. suspected cases of infection as soon as they appear. A necessary sacrifice. Oh my Are God. you not mistaking sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns? We can fly, we can teleport. This needs. would not stop and us. Needs it now. Welcome to the Ascalon. Fuck it, I want to do a murder! I'm sure you have more important things to do. That went well, did it not? No! 
It is always useful to bolster the morale. It didn't go well. It was bad. It was awful. I hated it. My lord, I was. I still hate it. Very long ago. Well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, you echo. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Bearer. I'm listening, my lord. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, and your findings were quite alarming. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. I'm this is not the Spanish right flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main upset. concern is the security of London's inhabitants. Right, don't you both dare. And don't you what dare do you say my boyfriend's Alarmed name. Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard what? of Freewen <laughs> has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the scowls. I have met peaceful and wise scowls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Scowls are hideous, shameful creatures that give all Econ a bad name. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club itchy. and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, so and get results. How is your investigation going, Dr. Reed? Time is our enemy. I have a few... All right, but... Goodbye, Lord. Godspeed. We'll talk later, Dr. Reed. I am going to scream. I can't kill them. I can't kill them. I'm, I have to be able to kill them later. They have to. They have to let me kill them later. It's main quest. They have to let me kill him later. They have to. It has to happen. It'll become available at some point, and I swear to God, if it doesn't, I will kill literally everyone in this game. <laughs> I will go on a feeding frenzy, and I will eat everyone. Every single human. Every single vampire. Every single scowl. I will eat every creature in all of London. I will single-handedly bring London to its knees. I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Maybe even Edgar. But I would do it very sweetly for him, and it would only be so that... It would only be so that he didn't have to suffer and see the monster that I would become. He would be our first one, and it would be bittersweet. I wouldn't love it, but I can't, can't have him knowing that I am a, am a monster. We need... A BF does have the good blood, you're right. We, we need to go to Whitechapel because we need to go eat a priest. Gotta go do a chomp on a priest. Oh, and the lake, once we do a chomp on a priest. Oh my god. Wow, this what is the not lake, a great boys? place to be. It's fine. Can't, can't go there. Um, sweet nibbles are a hearty chomp. It'd be sweet nibbles. Of course. Of course. Of course. I, it would be a kind and sweet and merciful death. Oh my god. I just want to leave. That's all. Um... Hello. 
Hello? <laughs> What's in here? Fresh water. <gasps> as long as it's not holy water, I may find some use for it. Is that... Is that the water for our plants? I think that's the water for our plant. Are you from Ascalon? Okay. I don't care. He didn't show up, and so I thought maybe. Maybe he wasn't gonna be there. But he was. Come on, come on, look, look, there's some buddies over here who want to say hello to you. Put an end to you! <laughs> I'm helping! Be over here. Look, I'm just, I just Look want, just there. let me go through. Yeah, but it's not gonna matter. So again, the frustrating part is, it's not gonna matter if I have a higher number later. It doesn't matter if I level up now, because the dude who's in this building is gonna be dead. Because thus far, I've only had a single a single time to rescue folks upon finding them. Like, I've only had a single day to, to, to relieve them of the terrible situation they're in. So even if I level up, it's not gonna fucking matter. Because <laughs> the dude's gonna be dead, and so it's not gonna... Like, there's no point. I'm... <laughs> It's just unfortunate. Just unfortunate. You go this way. This isn't where I want to be. I want to not be here. I would like to also not be here, but I am at least vaguely in the right area. This way? No, 
this is a bad place to... No, this is fine. This is Whitechapel, not the docks. Why did I think this was the docks? Also, why is the, the situation serious here? Its effectiveness has been proven by many. Okay, whatever you say, Loretta. Yeah. This is where I want to be, right? The church is over here, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah! I don't have your money. Come on, Barry. There is no protection against... Good evening, Mr. Whitaker. He's... Um, are for details. No! I'm still a level short. I have had enough for tonight. Why do these people give me particular- like, no nom on the priest yet. He's still a, a level too high for me. Barrett Loose gives me 2,000. Who are you? You're a merchant. I don't necessarily want to eat you. Could eat Clayton Darby. Could eat Sparkly Glasses Boy. Camellia gives me 5,000, but I liked her. I don't want to eat her. Who do we have at Pembroke? <laughs> Get out of here. I didn't want to eat folks was the problem. Gwyneth gives me nearly 4,000. Castle Doctor. Which one? Tippets? The one who, who fucked up the surgery? Or is it Strickland? The real rude one. I think that was Ackroyd. I want to say that was Ackroyd. We haven't eaten him yet, but we could. Do we want to eat Gwyneth and Ackroyd? Soon the time will come. I'm not going to eat Camellia. I'm not going to eat her. I like her too much. Never she's precious and she's done absolutely nothing wrong. We were also gross to her and told her to smile one time, and I'm not about that. So if anything, we should eat ourselves. Just saying. I think it was Ackroyd who was the who was the rude doctor. So if I the swan cordial can be the answer to all your Sorry, I'm like, I'm very lost already. Not good. No. <laughs> Not gonna eat her. She's too great. Honestly, I would have to eat somebody else then out of embarrassment too, because it's been so long that it's like embarrassing that I would come back now to eat her out of embarrassment, you know? <laughs> Fucking hell.
my guy. My guy. Oh boy. I swear to God. I'm displeased. Practically a straight shot. For Fuck you, chicken strips. Goodness gracious. They're so loud. It's one of those. Kill you. But also, fuck you, chicken strips. Based. Rude. Stop. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. Pre wind garter all chicken strips. Fuck you, chicken strips. When if hey honey. Tippets? Good evening, Doctor Tippets. That's Tippets. I don't want to talk to him. Reed, any good I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to talk to you. Goodbye, Doctor Tippets. I don't want to talk to you. I'm mm, thinking about this. What if Edgar finds out? What if Edgar finds out? You're still standing after this. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Hey, ma'am. Fucking hell, why is everyone such a high level? Can't eat her. She's level five mesmerism. We may lack the resources, but we have some of the most brilliant minds in London. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. I have not eaten him yet, no. <gasps> I can eat shitty doctor though. Let's go. Jonathan, Jonathan, what are you doing? Why are you walking like this? of his actions. I managed to arrange to have you buried in the same mass grave as your wife. I hope that might help. It's locked, all right. I was trying to listen in. It would not let me. Mm. Okay, well... That didn't make me feel any better. <laughs> Where is my room? Oh, but um. Well, hey, got lots of got lots of got lots of experience. I also have the key to his office. their stuff. Oops. Ooh! Dr. 
to Gwyneth about it's stuff. It's locked. Small key. It's locked, all right. Okay, well, I do just want to... It's locked. Oh my god, why is everything locked? Whatever. I got a treatment for a migraine! Hell yeah! Wait, what? Dear Jonathan, I asked Nurse Crane to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please for... Oh. Never mind. Okay, that's just from earlier. Hey, planty. Done. We watered it. It's been watered. Okay. Let's level up. And see what happens because we ate a boy. Blood capacity, big thirst. Physical prowess, body condition. Emmy would approve. Don't even pretend she wouldn't. Don't even pretend. <laughs> um. I've done it good. I've done it very good. That should heal me up, which is exciting. It won't do much. We'll go ahead and do this. Nope. And we'll confirm. The following night. It's fine. Everything's still stable. I do... Harvey ha is fatigued. Pippa has a cold. I have the treatment for migraines now. Ooh, I have the treatment for... Why did you tell me I have it if I don't know the recipe? Game! Game! Oh, hold on. I can... I have a whole bunch of stuff that I can... Uh, recycle. Pippa and Harvey are fatigued. No. Pippa has a cold. Harvey is fatigued. I have the medicines for that, though. So let's go give those medicines over. Ooh, hiccups. Hey, Pippa. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doc. Don't talk Do to me. I'm Just take the medicine. Thank you. Oops. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Where is Harvey? Hi, Devo. Yes. There again. Devo be screaming. It's fine. Harvey? Harvey is the carpenter. I will not let you down, Mott. Good evening, Mr. Philly. <laughs> How are you tonight? Look closer and ask <gasps> me that question again, you fucking idiot. Please calm down and tell me what happened. I lost my fucking arm because of this hospital. That's what happened. Is there anything... Really? 
Can I offer you some medicine for your fatigue? What happened during the surgery? That's what I'd like to know. Dr. Strickland couldn't even explain why I lost my arm after weeks of waiting for the right procedure. Do we want to throw Strickland under the bus? <laughs> no, this is the uh the other doctor that Ackroyd, the bad doctor that we just ate, was was like, his procedure's too risky, we shouldn't do it because the man could lose his arms. Fail. More like Snackland! Ah! Surgery is a delicate matter, but a surgeon is entirely responsible for its success and failure. At last, That's not someone who true, admits but... it. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Reed. It won't give me my life back, but I needed to hear it. How long do you think you will stay here, Mr. Fiddick? How the hell should I know? Some doctor wants me to have more rest. What bloody difference does it make now? You need to rest, Mr. Fiddick. Yeah. That's the best medicine now. <laughs> and who will take care of my boy and girl? Strickland? You? They only have me, you know. And they're not old enough to work yet. I'll... take care of them. Woof. Uh... Goodbye for now, Mr. F my sweet girl. Reads me like a book. I never could keep it. <gasps> hey Strickland. Hey Strickland? Hey Good evening, Strickland. Dr. Strickland. Dr. Reed. It's a disaster, a living nightmare. Yes. He was a Dr. carpenter, Ackroyd he needed to be Actually, I was thinking of Mr. Fiddick. I performed the surgery after Dr. Ackroyd departed and I failed. He has lost his arm. Did you use an untested procedure on Mr. Fiddick? Well, I want the we... truth, Thoreau. Your transfusion technique was misplaced. It exhausted the body of poor Mr. Fiddick instead of helping him rejuvenate. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Don't blame this on me. Do you think the loss of his arm could have been prevented? I should Your have read transfusion the signs procedure. Oh and my stopped God. the transfusion. The truth is my idea was flawed, but I was stubborn. I failed the hospital. Sounds like death is the only cure, honestly. How is he coping with the loss of his arm? I I can't even talk with him. He, he's so angry, so bitter. And he has good reason to hate me. You can't just run away from your responsibilities. I know, I know. It's just that I was so concerned about Mr. Fiddick's story. About his feelings of guilt about his injury. Wow. And you fucked up. You don't seem very concerned by the death of your colleague. I would be a liar if I said I'm affected by Dr. Ackroyd's death. Why such resentment? Waverly Ackroyd openly doubted my professional skill. It makes yeah, but me he angry wasn't to admit wrong. he was right. <laughs> he I wasn't want to know your feelings about, about the report Dr. Tippett's filed about you. It affected me deeply. I came to believe that was one of the reasons I grew so intransigent regarding Mr. Fiddick's case. I wanted so much to prove my skill. God, idiot. Goodbye, okay. Dr. Str what an idiot. He did it so bad. He said I was a bad doctor accurately, and I don't feel bad that he's dead. Buddy. Hi, Devo. <laughs> this child is back here screaming. Big old yikes. Okay, how is everyone? The people who I can help, I have helped. Jesus. I still need more 
more medicine for the pneumonia. Like, I can't... Oops. Can't do anything with that. And I barely met anyone here. Oh! Dawson's the, the pillar of... A staying place. He's mesmer mesmerism level six. Fucking hell. Yeah, well, this hasn't really helped me a ton. I'm only level 22. Well... No! It, it said that I could cure him, but it, I don't have the recipe for it. So despite it saying that I had them, it lied? So that's cool. Um, yeah, no, because I tried to make them and it's like, you don't know the recipe for this. But this is what it looks like. And that's not helpful. Hey, human, kill it. Kill yeah, yeah, yes, correct. That is correct. I know that a recipe exists for them. I just don't know what the recipe is. Basically. Which is extremely dumb and very frustrating. This isn't where I want to be. He's a real bad doctor. He's an exceedingly bad doctor. Don't come closer, sir. I'm gonna Over come closer. There. I'm gonna come closer. You can't stop me. Extremely upsetting, Devo. <laughs> um, I thought the guys like who were early in were pretty easy because that's a level twenty-four guy, and that's not going to be fantastic. level everything up. I forgot to do that while we were there. Okay. Well, there is... I'm going the wrong way. There are hideouts in the West End. So we can use those, hopefully. Can I still not get through here? Are you serious? It's locked. is the way that I need to go then. Obnoxious. Oh boy. Yeah, I wish this map was a little less nonsensical. Da 
That would be awesome. Steady boy. I've got one of them. Okay. Well, this level 27 guy is toast. But these guys aren't really. I mean, I. Yeah, no, it makes sense. <laughs> but. Could the map make a little more sense, potentially? Like, come on, for video game. Make it make, make it make sense. Stop. Stop with your stupid, awful dumbness. Too, which is nice. We appreciate that. But I still don't have a ton of faith that the vampires themselves will be any more manageable. Who? Oh, it's. You know what? It's fine. I'm gonna go up there? No? Okay. Okay. Uh, are we where we need to be? I think so. I think so. Well, kind of. Don't come any fucking close. Okay, well, sir, I wasn't gonna bother you. And then he decided he needed to shoot at me. All right, now we can investigate. Like to vote is only the first step. Um, who are you? Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend, Clarence? Clarence Crossley. <laughs> How are you? My God. So you survived the war, too. So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. I almost didn't recognize you, either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true, for I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. I'm not gonna eat him. Not yet, I'm at investigating least. the source of the epidemic in this district. <sighs> Infection is everywhere these days. If you ever go to the park near that I do need to start like determining who I'm who I want to eat. Malanies. Yes. What about the Malanies? What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. Closed doors. <laughs> Not delicious. I wonder. Um When did you escape the war? So much. Return to London. You know what's funny? I almost never think about the war. Not anymore. Probably for the best. I'm involved in another kind of battle now. What is this new battle? Well, I saw terrible things during the war. Horrors I thought I'd forget. They're here too. They're everywhere. Vampires. Clarence, what? <laughs> hey, Clarence. What's up? Uh... Could do I know a need if mean. I wanted. I haven't had much time to think about the war either since my return. Of course. With the epidemic, I bet you've been busy as well. Forgive me, Johnny. I, I didn't want to sound selfish. Okay. Um. Personal questions. How is your wife? How is your wife? Right. Vampires yes. here. Spend so much time <gasps> away from each other. So many things have happened. Is everything all right at home? 
Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. Have you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny? Battle with brushes. Venus Cowling fears brush for our now. family you reputation. Like now her husband has become the village idiot. <laughs> no. But you're alive. You returned in one piece, and you have a family. How many Not soldiers? Not gonna do a chop on clearance. Me, not quite that simple. Like you, I'm not the man I used to be. My goodness. We... Okay. You need some rest, Clarence. Should buy some brushes from him? Should we? Can I? I don't know. I don't I don't know that I'm in the market for uh for some brushes. Maybe later. Ask me again next Tuesday. This feels like it's away from where everyone is. Okay. Um. Who else? combs and all of that I we we all gotta draw the line somewhere right sorry no brushes today what's down here Where are we going? <laughs> These load screens, though. These load screens, though. Please. Please. Game. Hey, game. There you go. The embankment sewers, they are hostile. Okay, but how high a level are the, are the creatures down here? Hello? to read the note what is a tale but forgotten or myth mythicized history I don't this is so, okay nope that's not happening hello demons it's me ya boy talked about a horned vampire which is sounds that description matches what we've seen of uh daddy vampire so maybe. <laughs> but no, no. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, I can hear like wailing off I cannot in the distance. Enter. Hello? Where? Why is? Why is it hostile if no one's here? Wait, we def. We've been here before, right? We've been here before. Now this is unlocked. This is where Fergal was. This is where we did a murder on Fergal? Okay, so it's useless for me to be down here. Basically, is, is, uh, is what I'm hearing. We don't need to be here. 
because we've been here and we've done the thing. It's locked. <sighs> Is this where Drunk Werewolf was? Ah, uh, Maybe? It's the big fuck-off vampire who was from the Ascalon Club. I don't think it was Drunk Werewolf. Drunk Werewolf... Drunk Werewolf was on the bridge near the docks. Took me a second to remember remember Drunk Werewolf. Not Jimothy. <laughs> not not Jimothy. Not Jimothy from high school? <laughs> Jimothy from high school. Oh boy. I'm trying to think of what we need to I mean we need to talk to people, right? But they're also spread out. I don't want to find them anymore. Jimmy. Jimothy. Jimothy Strahd? Jimothy Jim Strahd from, from high school. Shit. Not ah, Jimmy. You, ma'am. Rats. Tasty rats. Those clever rodents are cautious now. They won't approach. Uh, about the I'm investigating of the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Infection. Infection. The rats carry it, I, I heard. Rats. 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 Many rats around that big house. Funny smell, too. Dead flesh. And where is this house? West of the park. Oh, North it's the, the house park. that Clarence the big house Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. With no sound, no light, no life left. Cool, I thanks. must go now. This is where I want to go. Oh my god. I want to put a marker there! The one time I actually want to put a marker down, the game is like, mm -hmm. no, no, I don't think so. I don't think I will. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We can just run over there. Why it's... are vampire hunters sniffing around here? I need to find out what they're after. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just run through. Look, they don't even notice us. Okay, well, now they notice us, but you know, it's fine. Bro. Oh my god. Can we not? Can we not? Hey. Stop. Stop with your nonsense. There are so many of you. This is a bad situation for me to be in. I need to leave. I think I need to leave. I think I need to go. We cannot be defeated. Now to wait 10 minutes for me to load back in. <sighs> I'm starting to get to the point with this game where it's just getting frustrating because it feels like no matter what I do, 
No matter what I do, it's just gonna be bad. It's just gonna be a bad situation all the way around. I'm like... I'm of the mind that it would almost be worth, like, restarting just so I don't fuck up the whole Sean situation, because I feel like that's really just been the big detriment that has kept me from really being where I need to be. Lock on, please. Oh my god. Why aren't you hitting him? die again. We're gonna die again. And there's nothing I can do. And there's there's nothing I can do. I can't do anything. <sighs> hi, Llama. You can come here. Come say hi. Come here. Hello, Bean. Lamia makes it better, don't ya? What's up, Grumpus? Can you say hi, Llama? No. <laughs> Hello. This is my stinky kitty. We love her. Not a safe place. She's very good. Yeah. Aren't you? I love you. I love you. She's a good kitty cat. <coughs> Bruh. Bruh. Gino, hello. Still doing good? Still, uh, beating, beating all the mechs? Doing all the things? I'm gonna hang out here for a hot second while my health restores. Um. <laughs> we like, we like it when lasers do things. Um. Oh, dang! You were playing that, Bono? Is Mech Warriors, like, super popular? Am I, like, missing out on something? Can we wait 10 seconds for my for my ultimate move to come back real fast? Also, what is my coat doing? My coat is in my leg. It's fine, sir. It's fine. But yeah, hi, welcome. I hope, I hope 
Hope everything's going well. Um. <laughs> you have vampires now. It's it's been a rough uh, yeah. it's been a rough couple of sessions. Things are not going well for us, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. I had to stop it. I had to stop and dance. It's a problem. Um, didn't spook me that time. Val got me killed though. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it seems like I don't know. You were, have been streaming for a very long time. You gotta take a short break. Go for it. We'll be around for another half hour or so, I say. I was thinking about calling it soon, though. Just because I am getting a little frustrated with the game. But we're getting through it. We're making progress. Again, I'm going to stand here so I can heal up while I chat at y'all. Um, but yeah, we'll be here for a little bit longer. <laughs> That's fair. Work is important. You gotta, you gotta attend to it. Um... I know you guys just got here. I am gonna pause though, because I gotta use the restroom. I have had so much water. But yeah, take a quick break. We'll be right back. But again, thank you for the raid. I really, really appreciate it. It's always lovely to see ya. Um, but yeah, BRB. We are back. Flatter. Better. Oh. Let's see. This is the way I needed to go. Not me getting lost already. Um. it is okay well <laughs> i was 
trying not to be evil. Honestly. And then... I decided that I wasn't gonna... I wasn't gonna kill Sean, the sad saint. And that backfired completely and entirely. Um... And has sort of made my outlook for the rest of the game just extremely bleak. Like, nothing matters. Because nothing matters. Um, so we've eaten a couple of people since then, and I am trying with all my might to not just eat everyone. It's been great. How are you doing, Barely? <laughs> this woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. Exactly. Exactly, Travis. <laughs> um. But no, it like, it decimated an entire district. Um. Which is kind of like, fucked me over to an extreme extent. <laughs> yeah, because I like Camellia! I like her. I'm not gonna eat her. <laughs> it's true. I'm not a monster. Not yet. But it's a possibility. We'll see how these next couple of uh, missions go. You know? He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. Like you do. He was a victim of brutal torture. Yeah, it's fine. Honestly, they could have done worse. Oh. But yeah, how's it going, Barely? How are you doing? How are things? Can we? This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. What's he got in his pocket? So that's what I'm saying. They gotta have good loot on him, right? We love us some good loot. Give me the good loot. These people are storing opium all throughout their house, which is pretty cool. Can we... Like, I'm, I'm supposed to be here to figure out where this, like, outbreak came from, right? And to, like, figure out why the house is so quiet and why... No one has been heard or seen from here. Are you wearing a face? Are you wearing someone else's face? No, it's just a regular mask. Okay. <laughs> you thought I was dead too, didn't you? No, I was just pretending. Doris told me I could have been a great actress. Yeah, you okay. killed your family. They mocked my talent. Ma'am. Ma'am, I'm not ready for this. Okay, no, we're ready for this. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, opium was really just like the hero. I, I get that. Do a heal. 
though. Also, sorry, I'm realizing that I have the wrong medicines equipped. Or maybe I don't. Is this... Yes, no, I do. I 100% do. Um... You got a mask on for a reason! It's like the same people you see out in public who have their masks like un off under their nose and you're like, that defeats the purpose! Cover everything on your face! Only eyeballs allowed, and even then, don't fucking perceive me. That shouldn't get missed, but it did. Yo, people wear it under their chin. I just need everyone to wear your fucking mask like a real human who's trying to stop the spread of an actual plague. Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? If I have to fucking fight her again. I am going to scream. Also, that's understandable. The noises are too bad. Just peace out for a little bit. You can do it laughing face. <laughs> I appreciate the belief. Thank you for the biddies. I think, I think it counts. I think it counts. I think it's okay. It does appear that it counts. The way camera roll reads out emojis is very, very good. Um, we love it. We're here for it. Okay. That is how I will be encouraging people from here on out th now, though, is you can do it laughing face. And no, I will not elaborate on it. All right. Dear Elsa, it's with the greatest joy that I confirm with this letter your acceptance as a private student into my acting school. The little scene you had the kindness to perform for me last week convinced me that you have the uh, what it takes to be a real actress. Wit, stature, and courage. As a private student, you'll receive my personal training and coaching. This sounds extra sketchy. Uh, during these intense sessions, you'll be invited to stay at the school since I strongly believe in total immersion to expose the full potential of my students. So please remember to bring night attire and anything you may need to spend a week at my school. Yours sincerely, Doris so. Fletcher. This girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. It sounds like a scam and also just sketchy. Um, I cannot open that door. I got some coding. Hey. There wasn't blood out here earlier? What level are you? You're a very high level.
I wonder. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, now we're back here. Hey, we did it. This looks like a place I can go into. Hello. Oh! This is our house. My dear Avery, as I already mentioned, or already told you several days ago, I may be forced to leave England, if only for a few, uh, if only for a few months. While I'm away and until my son comes back to London, I want you to take the best care of our house. I already made the entire necessary arrangements to have your wages increased and paid as long as you'll work. You promised me you'd protect my dear wife and serve her in the best of your ability. For that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And if I am, if I am never to return, you are the only man I fully trust. Believe me, your most affectionate friend, Aubrey Reed. Is that her daddy? Aww. Damn, our house is nice. Hello, mother. Mother. Good evening. Jonathan, is it you? Where have you been, my prodigal Places. son? I'm right here, mother. I'm finally home. Don't even worry yes, about it. But this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now found. But where is your sister? Where uh. is Mary? Mary? She... She is gone, mother. I know she's gone. The question is, when will she return as you have? I miss my grandson so much. It's been days since their last visit. Have you returned to Whitechapel Cemetery since Mary's funeral? I never want to go back to that awful place. Wait. I think I went back once. Wait, so she doesn't remember her sister's too. death and then suddenly and remembers Mary? her sister's death. Sister's no, death. That can't be true. It was just a bad dream, Mother. A nightmare, yes. Mary was so angry. I walked back home alone. If that kind policeman had not called Avery from the station, I don't know what would have happened. She knows our secret. She's on to us. Do you know what's been going on in this area? Not really. I don't go out much due to the epidemic, and when I do, I tend to get lost. What do you mean, you get lost? I hope you don't go outside alone. Of course not. When I go out, your father always comes with me, but he leaves me there sometimes, and we, I have trouble finding the way back. We might do a nom nom on our mother. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, look, she's super old anyway, and like... Easily manipulated. She's level one mesmerism. We'll see. We'll see. Do you need Not confirming, but I'm not Can saying I no. You? I just want you to stay with me, Jonathan. Your room is ready. I asked Avery to make your bed. I'll stay as long as I can, I promise. Do you need anything else? Yeah, just but it might be thing. best to put her out of her misery. Stop staring at me like that. As much as I love you, it breaks my heart to look at those empty, dead eyes. Mother! Are you working on a new painting? Not recently. I have trouble focusing on my subject and my mind quickly drifts. It's the same thing when I try to write poetry. I recently met a talented painter with an excellent She's technique. not that great. I wish you two could meet. I'm sure you'd like her. I'd be glad to meet her. What is her name? Is she famous? Is she dead too? She's not famous. And her name is of no Why? importance. And yes, she is also dead. The important thing is, I hope you two get along. If she ever fancies meeting your mother, I'd be glad to welcome Does her. Does mom mother. know? Does mom know? Does mom know? Does mom know? Goodbye, mother. Good. No, 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 I wasn't done talking to her. Hello again. Jonathan. Why do you say Mary is visiting you, Mother? I think she just has dementia. No, okay, that's... <laughs> Why should it be? Are you not standing in front of me right now? Why should it be any different with your sister? 
I'm not dead? But I'm not dead, mother. I don't think our father's alive. I'm really here, talking to you, trying not to cry. Oh, it breaks my heart to have to tell you this. But of course you're dead, my darling boy. Just look at you, as pale as my Mary. She's a hundred percent just but Mary really senile. is dead, mother. Yes. And are you not dead too? Isn't your father dead? And my grandson and my son-in-law, you're all gone. But you all still visit me from time to time. Ugh. We're gonna eat her. We're gonna eat her. At some point. We're going to eat her at some point. Um... Big old yikes. Goodbye, mother. Goodbye. She only gives 500 points if I enter. eat her. So I'm gonna try and see if I can, like. Uh. It's vintage. No? It is still cannibalism, though. This is the balcony. Oh, I can upgrade my weapons. And I can check out this thick blood. That does nothing for me. This is unhelpful game. I still need good handle parts. Yeah, no, we definitely nommed our sister. Wasn't great. It was not a great situation to be in. Um... Did not appreciate it. Can we level this all up real fast? Decrease that that that's uh stamina consumption. More points when stunning. Thank you. Cool, 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 cool. Can I make this yet? I can! Thank God. Alright, so we can get that to Darius at some point. I still can't... Still can't make these! But I have them? Confused, but it's fine. I have a small key. So we can start fixing everyone at Pembroke. Maybe. Maybe. Let me in, Mother! Mother said no. I'm not allowed in there. It's unfortunate. Can I open this, though? With the small key? Good deal. Time to steal from my family. Um, also what time is it? Basically time for us to end. Okay, well we'll finish looting the house. Aubrey, I'm not sure visiting Italy is a good idea this time of the year. Read me, it's in 4th of April, 1908. My dear and beloved John, when you receive this letter, you will be 35 and I'll be long gone. Feel a little silly writing you this first letter that you won't read for a few years. Struggled for a long time about how best to write you this. Till I remember the puzzle and riddles I invented for you when you were a boy. Oh, how you loved to solve those enigmas. Well, I found it would be a good idea to propose to you one final game. It will probably be less rewarding. No candies or exotic treasures for you if you decipher the game this time. But a greater treasure, perhaps. The truth. This is my only attempt for you to explain why I chose to leave my family without an explanation. If you want to know why, simply play my little game. It's really up to you, my son. Rest assured that I love you. I promise my family was, was and still is everything to me. I remember the first time I held you and your sister in my arms. My treasures. My jewels. To see you grow up, play and laugh filled my heart with joy every time I went back to our home. Could have killed to protect you. My son. My daughter. My wife. But fate found me in the end. And I had to make a, dis a tough decision. The worst was to disappear without a word. Just decided to do it anyway, and soon I'll be good gone for good. Don't ask for forgiveness, but for understanding. 
If you want to know more, all you have to do is remember how happy we were back in those days. If you want to find the next message, think green grass and tall trees on sunny Sundays. From your affectionate father, I remember Aubrey. Sunday walks in the park. Okay, so we gotta go to a park at some point. Where is Avery? A lovely butler. There he is, cleaning the floor. Hey, bud. Hey, guy. Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan? I can't believe hey. my own eyes. Oh, it's a miracle. We all thought you were... Oh, sir, your poor sister. What a tragedy. I know, Avery. I know about my sister's murder. Miss Reed expected you to return to assist with the funeral right up until the last minute. Where have you been, Mr. Jonathan? We needed you here. I was busy getting turned into a vampire. Don't worry about it. <laughs> How is my mother? Not, Not well, great. I'm afraid so. Oh. Miss Reed is very fragile since the police brought her back home. The police? What happened? Miss Reed was found walking in the streets. She kept saying she had spoken with her son and daughter. She's resting now. No, she's just wandering around upstairs. Has she she's received not resting. appropriate medical care? I'm taking care of Miss Reed myself. Hospitals are so overwhelmed by the epidemic that they can only accept patients infected by influenza. Perhaps okay. we could arrange a short trip. Somewhere sunny, like France. She has always been very fond of France. I think leaving London could do her good. I'm afraid Miss Reed is too frail for the moment. Recently, she started going out at night without remembering it. I have to watch her carefully. What is the situation in this part of town? For a time, right. the West Right, one hundred percent. When we first started playing, they like kept the talking about how the, the uh, much worse. how the flu no was like spreading and stuff, and how everyone has to wear I'll masks and be careful. And few days to see there's a quarantine happening, and we're just sitting here like. My earnings as long as I take care of this house, sir. My sisters <laughs> are dead, and I've never met my nephews. Just wowie. I'll stay, sir. It's I'm a lot of parallels, I and I don't like it. Yeah. Your mother was strong, sir, but your support <laughs> would have been appreciated. Apart from the priest and I, no one else attended your sister's funeral. I was To be there. present at the funeral with you both was my dearest wish, Avery. But I'm sorry, I simply could not attend. I would not dare to question your absence, Mr. Jonathan. All I can say is that we missed you a great deal during these difficult days. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Um, Tell me the truth, Avery. Do you feel forced so to forceful. stay here? Would you leave this house without the arrangement made by my father? No, sir. I have nowhere else to go. And I promised your father I'd take care of his family as long as I live. This house is dead, Avery. There is a curse on this family. You really should consider leaving. If only me. you could have been here sooner or more often. Maybe this house would not be that empty. But you're here now, sir. So my task is not over. You have served this family extremely well, Avery. Your support during these terrible times is much appreciated. Then I will stay. All I ask is that you take care of my own funeral if I die before the end of the epidemic. No mass grave, please, sir. I can, I can do that. Do you really think I don't take enough care of my mother, Avery? Yes, I do, Mr. Jonathan. You clearly have something more to say. Speak your mind, Avery. I know you work hard to help the sick, but what will you do once the epidemic is over? I really don't know. I have always enjoyed seeing New Horizons. Once the epidemic is over, it would be nice to leave London for a while. I understand, Mr. Jonathan. But you have to realize that your mother needs you. 
Your next departure could break her heart. It's okay. I'll resolve that before it comes down to it. Also, what's your mesmerism level? Jesus! I found an old Avery, letter written by will. my father and addressed to me. Do you know anything hey, about Bob, it? Hey, Avery? Your father wanted me to give you this letter for your 35th birthday. I'll see how he... For the war, and I'll the see how he feels after office. she dies? Until tonight. I realize now you knew my father better than I did. Do you know why he left, Avery? Did he ever speak to you about his departure? No, sir. Mr. Reed was not exactly forthcoming. Perhaps this letter will give you the information. No, it probably would require. be best to eat Avery if we eat mom. I'm currently investigating. Not really. Except all the McPherson's servants resigned a few days ago. They feared becoming infected, they said. The McPherson's? Where do they live? I think it's a rich house near the railway bridge in the southern part of the district. Okay, cool. Goodbye. Of course. And game just saved, so we will call it there. Um, and try some more on Wednesday. Again, I'm like, I really like this game when we're talking to people. I really don't like this game when we have to do a ton of combat. And so... Hopefully the next little bit will definitely just be more talking and exploring and figuring out what's going on with minimal fighting, but I feel like we're going to have to do a lot of fighting soon. So, until then... Um, I'm glad I'm not alone in that feeling, honestly, because it's like, they do... Uh, I keep saying it, but it's like they do the socializing and like the the interacting with the NPCs so dang well, but then the fighting, the combat is so tedious and so it feels so unbalanced and just isn't done well. It's not done well, and it's really frustrating because it's so good in 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 all the other parts, and I want to like it, and I do like it. But it's just dumb. But anyway. Um <laughs> It needs it needs help for sure. But let's go ahead and set up a raid. First message is for people who don't have a sub. The second one is a sub message. It uses our personal emotes. Um y'all wanna go hang out with Princess Meezy? We haven't seen we haven't seen Meezy in a hot minute. Um Oh oh she just went live. Oh she just went live. Yeah, let's go hang out with Meezy. <laughs> um But as always, thank you all for being here. Have a great night. Take care of your dang self. We'll be back on Wednesday with more vampire, more bloodstained, and figure out what's going on from there. But yeah. Have a great night. We'll see y'all later. Bye!